car driver, there's a great deal more to do than just push the pedals and steer the automobile. Jan Bikas takes a look at the adjustments he can make from inside the cockpit. With any high-performance car, whether it be a street car or an Indy car, they utilize an anti-roll bar. But in an Indy car, it's adjustable from the cockpit. Let's take a look at the function of an anti-roll bar. As the car would have a tendency to lean, as you would come into a corner, this spring would compress, this one would droop, so therefore this would come up and this would come down. If you were to tie the two together with these rods, if it would roll, it would try and flex or twist the actual anti-roll bar. The stiffer that is, the more resistance, the less roll. Let's look at how it's adjusted. Right now, this is the full stiff setting. If we move it to the full soft setting, instead of twisting the bar, now it's the blade that actually flexes and allows the car to roll more into the corner. Now, in recent years, there's been some suspension design changes up in the front, which actually raises what they call the roll center. That causes the car to actually roll less. And because of that, it's become commonplace to actually remove this rod and not to use the bars at all. Now, of course, it makes the car handle great, but if you're a race driver, you're out on the racetrack, the handling goes off, you've got no way to change the car until you come into the pits for a pit stop. Back at the Budweiser G.I. Joe's 200 at Portland, all positions run static. These IndyCar drivers can make handling adjustments to the car suspension during a race. Jan Bikas tells us how. During an IndyCar race, it's common for a car's handling to change throughout the duration of the race. So all modern-day IndyCars have driver-adjustable anti-roll bars. What that means is a driver can either stiffen or soften the anti-roll bars, which will change the handling, hopefully making the car faster. The problem is you have to use your left hand. You really want to have both hands on the steering wheel. So if you're taking your right hand constantly off the steering wheel to do your shifting like you would normally do, like on a road circuit, you might go back and forth 30 times a lap. If you had to make an adjustment with the left hand, you'd have nothing left on the steering wheel if you had to shift. The only time you can use your left hand really is at the end of the straightaway when you're in top gear. The other thing is difficult, it's hard to tell what position you're in on these adjusters. There's six different positions. You wouldn't ever want to look down and take your eyes off the road. So on a Penske car, they have contact switches as well as resistors. When you move the lever, what happens is it drives some LED lights that are up on the top of the dashboard. When you move the lever, the corresponding LED will move, telling the driver what position it's in. Now, that may seem complex, but it's very similar to what you'd use with a slot car controller. So we talk about technology coming to racing. Now, slot car technology has made its way to IndyCar racing.